For decades, Pluto was cast aside, downgraded from its status as the ninth planet to a lonely remnant orbiting on the edge of the solar system. Once hailed as a planetary wonder, it was soon dismissed as nothing more than a frozen relic, silent, distant, and forgotten. But that story is changing. Thanks to stunning new images and spectral data from the James Webb Space Telescope, scientists are now seeing Pluto in a completely new light. It's no longer a quiet block of ice drifting through the dark. It's a world full of motion, mystery, and unexpected activity. The telescope's observations have overturned everything we thought we knew. Beneath the frozen surface lies a story far more complex, a story that may even hold clues to life itself. At the center of this revelation is Sputnik Planitia, the vast, heart-shaped glacier that defines Pluto's surface. Made mostly of frozen nitrogen, this massive plane is so large and dense that it actually shifts Pluto's axis, almost as though the planet is tilting under its own heartbeat. But it's what might be hidden beneath this icy heart that has stunned scientists. Beneath kilometers of frozen crust could lie a subsurface ocean, liquid water kept warm by radioactive decay inside Pluto's rocky core. Even at nearly 6 billion kilometers from the sun, this residual heat might be enough to keep water from freezing solid. That means Pluto isn't a frozen corpse, it's a world still alive with internal motion. And where there's liquid water, there's always the possibility of life. If that ocean exists, it could harbor microscopic organisms, tiny forms of life adapted to the crushing darkness and the intense cold. Protected from cosmic radiation by layers of ice, these life forms would live in complete isolation, evolving along a path totally alien to our own. Physicist Brian Cox once said that discovering life in such a place would redefine everything, from our understanding of biology to our place in the universe. And the evidence keeps growing. NASA's New Horizons flyby in 2015 revealed mountains of ice, deep valleys, and fault lines stretching across Pluto's crust, signs of internal forces at work. These aren't the markings of a dead planet. They're the fingerprints of a living one. Pluto's relationship with its moon Charon adds yet another layer of mystery. Instead of orbiting like a typical moon, the two worlds revolve around a shared point in space locked together in a delicate gravitational dance. This motion creates powerful tides beneath Pluto's surface, stirring its ocean and generating even more internal heat. Some researchers now suspect these forces might keep Pluto's hidden sea in motion, perhaps even driving strange chemical reactions below the ice. And if so, those reactions could mimic the early chemistry that once sparked life on Earth. But not every discovery is comforting. Data from the James Webb Space Telescope has revealed strange heat patterns and chemical traces beneath Pluto's crust, signals that don't match any known geological explanation. Some scientists believe these could be the byproducts of exotic chemistry, or something we haven't yet defined. Pluto's formation adds even more intrigue. Billions of years ago, it likely formed through violent collisions in the early solar system, impacts that generated enough heat to melt internal ice. Over time, radioactive decay inside its rocky layers may have kept part of that interior liquid. If true, Pluto has been geologically active for nearly its entire existence, born in chaos, encased in ice, but never truly still. Pluto's atmosphere, though thin, is surprisingly dynamic. Made mostly of nitrogen with traces of methane and carbon monoxide, it glows with a reddish haze, created by tholines, organic molecules formed when ultraviolet sunlight reacts with atmospheric gases. These same molecules are thought to be the building blocks of life, suggesting complex chemistry happening even now. Karen, too, seems to echo Pluto's story. Its surface is scarred with chasms and ridges, signs of a restless past, and its poles are coated in mysterious red material, possibly frozen gases escaping from Pluto itself. Together, they may form a two-world system unlike anything else in the solar system, 
bound not only by gravity but by chemistry, history, and maybe something deeper. Pluto also challenges what we know about the Kuiper Belt, that distant region of icy debris beyond Neptune. While most objects out there are cold and inactive, Pluto stands apart, shifting, moving, breathing in its own slow rhythm. If Pluto is alive with movement and change, then what might lie beyond it? Out past the Kuiper Belt, beyond the thin reach of sunlight, there could be countless other worlds, each carrying its own chemistry, its own rhythm, its own secret pulse of energy. Some may cradle hidden oceans beneath their crusts, warmed by unseen heat from within. Others may be entirely alien, built from compounds and molecular structures that defy everything we know about life. The James Webb Space Telescope has only brushed the surface of this frozen frontier. Its instruments have revealed more than ice and rock, they've uncovered motion, heat, and color in places once thought eternally silent. These discoveries whisper of worlds still evolving, still changing, still rewriting their own destinies in the cold. And already, the data is calling for more. A future mission, one capable of orbiting Pluto, drilling beneath its heart-shaped glacier, and diving into its mysterious internal sea, could finally answer questions humanity has asked for generations. Is Pluto's ocean just water and rock, or something more? Is it a chemistry lab of the cosmos, where organic molecules assemble in darkness, quietly testing the boundaries of what life can be? We've only had a glimpse, a single passing encounter, but that glimpse changed everything. From a world once labeled, dead, has come evidence of motion, warmth, and possibility. Even a faint magnetic field, if proven, would add another layer to Pluto's complexity, shielding its fragile atmosphere and protecting whatever might dwell beneath the ice. Such resilience in a place so small and distant reminds us that the universe is full of surprises, and that life, or at least the potential for it, may be far more common than we dare to believe. Far from being a forgotten rock, Pluto now stands as a monument to endurance and mystery. It challenges every assumption we've made about what makes a planet, alive. Not through sunlight or temperature, but through time, motion, and the quiet persistence of internal fire. It shows us that life's story isn't just written in warmth, it can also be carved in ice. So perhaps the question isn't simply does life exist there? The real question is what form could life take in a world that has never seen daylight? Could strange microorganisms be swimming beneath the frozen plains, feeding on chemical energy instead of sunlight? Could alien ecosystems be thriving in complete silence, worlds within worlds, sealed off for billions of years beneath an endless winter? Pluto is no longer a relic from the solar system's past. It's a living page in the cosmic story of creation, a frozen world that still pulses with energy, still defies our understanding, and still beckons us to look closer. It reminds us that the boundaries of exploration are not measured by distance but by curiosity. As our technology evolves, and as our telescopes and probes reach farther into the dark, we edge closer to unveiling the truth hidden beneath the ice. Maybe one day, a robotic explorer will break through Pluto's crust and find proof that even here, in the coldest corner of the sun's domain, life found a way. And if that day comes, everything we know about the universe will change once again. Because sometimes, the greatest discoveries don't come from blazing stars or vast galaxies. They come from quiet places, from small, frozen worlds that refuse to die. Pluto is proof that even in darkness, there is movement. Even in silence, there is story. And even in the coldest reaches of space, there is still life, waiting to be found. So keep wondering. Keep exploring. And never stop listening to the whispers that drift through the outer worlds, because out there, beyond the light, the universe is still 